Today, I'm heading out on another business trip to the state of Oklahoma and the cities of Tulsa and Oklahoma City. Hi, I'm Michael, and while I love making YouTube videos about Los Angeles and my weekend trips, I have a day job as a management consultant, which pre-pandemic required a lot of out-of-town overnight travel. In the last year or so, travel's been picking back up, and I'm very excited to get back out on the road to interact with my teams and my clients in person. Come join me as I share a glimpse into my week of consulting travel. For this trip to Oklahoma, I'm flying United from LAX to Houston, where I'll catch my connection to Tulsa. On day two, I'll catch a ride with my colleagues and drive across the state of Oklahoma to Oklahoma City before flying home to Los Angeles via Houston on day four. I got some work done in the United Club before heading to the gate. For my first flight, I'm going from Pacific to Central Time, meaning that despite leaving LA at 12 noon, I won't get to Oklahoma until after dark. This is my first time visiting Oklahoma, so I'm excited to visit the Sooner State. Houston is just under three hours flying time from LA, and I have a two hour layover. I took the opportunity to explore the new terminal C gates at Houston. This stunning new terminal is bright with tall ceilings and great lighting. I got a way too greasy pizza before boarding my delayed connection to Tulsa. Just before 9 p.m., I got a ride from the free hotel shuttle to the Courtyard Marriott downtown Tulsa. This hotel is located in a historic building on Boston Avenue in the Bricktown. This building from the 1930s has Art Deco elevators off the gilded lobby corridor. Check-in is on the second floor. The room is quite spacious, though a bit dated. The king bed is opposite a desk and armoire with a small TV, with a sofa along the windows. I like the historic photos of Tulsa on the walls as a reminder of the heyday of this mid-American city. The room's physical space felt like it was a suite, but this is a standard king bedroom at this hotel. I think this one room could fit two or maybe even three of my hotel rooms at the Moxie Times Square in New York. Go check out that video after this one. I'm in town to give a few presentations to clients. To get ready for my meetings, I'm walking the couple of blocks to the office and stopping for a coffee from Topeka Coffee. Downtown Tulsa is pretty quiet despite the large amount of office space in the central business district. This is an oil and gas town with lots of local character and history. My day of meetings is capped off with the happy hour at the Summit Club on the 31st floor of the Bank of America Tower. The views of the Arkansas River and the surrounding metro area give great perspective to the landscape of eastern Oklahoma. Unfortunately, I only have less than 24 hours here, but I'd love to return to experience more of the food scene and culture. After a 90-minute drive down Interstate 44, I arrive in Oklahoma City, the state capital. I'll spend the next two nights at the National Hotel, a Marriott Autograph Collection Hotel located downtown near the Devon Energy Center. This is a brand new hotel concept in a historic 1930s Art Deco tower. I love the wall color and other design touches in the room. Check out my full review of the hotel, which is popping up here. I'm grabbing a quick bite at the hotel lobby restaurant, Tellers, before heading out. A few blocks away from the hotel is the Oklahoma City National Memorial, dedicated to the victims of the Oklahoma City bombing on April 19, 1995. The memorial occupies the area around where the Murrah Federal Building once stood. At each end of the reflecting pool are bronze arches that symbolize the minute before and the minute after the explosion, representing the final moments of peace and the moment the healing began. 168 chairs represent each person who was killed in the attack. Strikingly smaller chairs represent the youngest victims of the attack, many children who were at the building's daycare center. My colleagues suggested I visit the memorial at night to observe the space's haunting glow. 
It's Christmas time and each of the chairs of the memorial are adorned with a small Christmas wreath. I'm mesmerized by the reflections on the water from the lights of the arches and the chairs. There is a memorial museum that was already closed for the evening, but has exhibits recounting the aftermath and rebuilding of the Oklahoma City community. After a good night's sleep and a day of client meetings and presentations, I'm out for a walk around the downtown area of Oklahoma City before exploring more of the hotel. I almost booked another hotel for this trip, but my local colleagues insisted that I experience this new property, which is a destination unto itself. Unfortunately, I ran out of time to explore more of Oklahoma City before I had to turn in for the night to finish more work and prepare for my early morning flight back to the West Coast. I pre-booked an Uber to pick me up at 5 a.m. to get me to the airport for my 6.45 a.m. flight to Houston, which needed a bit of de-icing on a cold Midwestern morning. My upgrade didn't clear for either leg, but this trip did push me over the edge to get platinum status for 2023. A lot of folks complain about having to travel for work, but I really enjoy getting to experience new places and meet new people. Do you travel for work? How do you spend your off time while on the road? Leave your tips down below in the comments. Find me on social media and watch one of these videos next.